welcome back. You got the job interview. Congratulations. If you've never been here, I'm JC, and today we are going to talk about what you should wear to your interview. So a great rule of thumb is just to wear an elevated or slightly more formal version of what you'll actually be wearing to work. Ask and see whether or not you can get a sense of how you will be required to dress once you get the role. So for example, if your job has a dress code that where you would need to cover your tattoos or remove your piercings, wear your hair back, cover your midriff, wear closed toed shoes, whatever. Different jobs have different rules about how you should dress. Then make sure you show up at the interview dressed in that way so that you're showing respect for the dress code from the very beginning. But there's a very good chance you have not been told what to wear and there may not be a clear dress code for you. So let's think through like what to consider when you're picking your outfit. You want to make a good impression. So think about the industry and the kind of role you're interviewing for and how best you can communicate that you would be a good employee through your clothing. So before the interview, if at all possible, go to where you're going to be working and look around and see what other people are wearing. And then when you go to the interview, dress the same way, only just a little bit nicer. Dress expectations in the workplace tend to fall into three major categories. You tend to have business formal, business casual, or casual. So we're going to start with business formal. In a business formal workplace, that would be big financial institutions, banks, some law offices, some government agencies, places like that. So you'll need to be in a suit. So that's a matching top and bottom with a blouse or a button down shirt, a tie or a scarf. That's basically your options. It's very traditional. It's very conservative. The next step down from business formal would be business casual. And this is what the vast majority of office jobs are going to require. People will say, come in business casual. Well, that can mean different things to different people, but you're safe if you dress in dark skirts or dark dresses, dark pants. Um, wear a button down shirt, uh, a blouse works well. You could also add a blazer or a jacket if you wanted to, um, or maybe a sweater, but you don't want to dress up too much. You don't want to be too formal, no suits. Uh, sometimes khakis are okay in a business casual environment, but some places you're only allowed to wear khakis on casual Fridays. And so I would avoid wearing khakis to a business casual job interview since you're not quite sure. If you're interviewing for a job outside of the office setting, like in the service industry, in a factory, something like that, in the trades, then it's going to be pretty casual. So you're going to need to wear dark jeans or khakis or a knee length skirt. You can pair that with a blouse, a button down or a polo. You can add a sweater or a cardigan depending on the weather. Um, but even at a very, very casual work environment, you still need to eschew anything that's overly casual at an interview. So don't wear a, something strapless, nothing too revealing, no crop tops, mini skirts, shorts, sports jerseys, t-shirts, tank tops. They're just too casual for an interview. Of course, you know, if you're interviewing for a job where you have to demonstrate your physical skills, then you need to wear what you what's appropriate for that. And if you're a tennis pro, wear your white skirt and your polo shirt. If you're a construction worker, uh, show up in your Carhartts. And, but make sure that whatever you're wearing that's industry specific is clean and in good repair. Your interview clothes should be really comfortable so you're relaxed in them and you're not pulling and tugging and fiddling, right? We don't want you to be conscious of your clothes and having them be distracting to you. You should feel and look really comfortable in what you're wearing. So you're going to be nervous already and we don't want your clothes to add to your nervousness or make you look even more nervous than you already are. So you need to wear something that's going to help you feel calm and comfortable. Now many of you are going to say there's no possible way I can feel calm and comfortable if I have a tie on. Well practice then and I'm not saying that they're going to be your favorite item of clothing but you should get comfortable enough in them that you're not pulling and tugging and looking awkward while wearing them. If you're interviewing for a job in a very creative or very artistic field, you could probably get away with something more trendy and more fashionable than you could if you are interviewing for a really traditional profession. Regardless of what you're wearing, to wear something that fits you properly, that it, you know buttons aren't pulling, it's not frayed, there's no rips or tears, everything is clean and fresh, good repair, no stains, there's no lint, there's no pet hairs, there's no wrinkles. You want to show up looking, looking on point, right? Show up looking really fresh and confident. 
So the big takeaway here is no matter what you wear, hopefully these guidelines were helpful, but keep in mind why you're choosing what you're choosing. So what are you trying to communicate? You are trying to communicate that you are qualified and reliable and respectful and thoughtful and that you'd be a really good employee. Your clothing communicates a whole, whole lot about you. So think really carefully about how you want to show up. You want to make a good impression and I know you can do it. So good luck. Let me know how it goes. I look forward to hearing whether or not you got the job and take care until next time. Bye. You doing, buddy? Yeah. Are you a super helpful editor?